Welcome back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to share an album on any iPhone. It's a very easy process. We're talking about photo albums here, not like, you know, music albums. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings app like this. And apparently I don't even have my iCloud account set up. So I will go ahead and show you this on an older iPhone. What you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application. So you want to go right here and then you wanna go ahead and click on your iCloud account, which is right up here. So we're going to be sharing our photos through our iCloud account. So then what we wanna do is you wanna click on iCloud, which is right here. And typically you do wanna have some storage saved on your iCloud account. I don't think it's going to allow us to do it, but we can go ahead and try to see. And what we wanna do is you wanna make sure this photos icon is enabled and we wanna make sure this shared album is on. So as long as this little shared album thing is on, then we're pretty much good to go. Now what we want to do is we want to make our way back to our photos application. So we want to find our photos app like this, go ahead and open it. And what you may have not even seen before is that we actually have a plus icon on the top left. And sometimes you may just have to exit out of the app. But what we want to do is we want to click on that plus. Now we will see that new shared album little option. So what we want to do is we want to click on new shared album. And here we can go ahead and just type in whatever we want the name to be on this new shared album. So we can just say test or something, whatever you want to call it, just call it that. And I'm going to go and click next. Now this is where you want to add the people that you actually want to add for the specific shared album. So if you want to add your mom, your dad, this is where you can start typing in their name. So in this case, I just added myself. So you can go and click create. And now we have just added that user to this specific folder. Now this is another album. I don't know who shared that with me. We can go and click here. And what we can do is now we can add our own photos to the specific shared album. So we can go and click on plus and we can add whatever you know photos we want to add in the specific folder. So I can go and click done. And those photos will now, we can go and add text if we want to, but we can just click post. And those photos will now be added to the shared album. So now if we want, we can add more people by clicking on the little plus button right here. And we can add more people going through here. Now, as you can see, this one failed. But if you want to invite people, just click on plus and you can go and do that. And you can go ahead and you know, convert this to a public website if you want to, which I wouldn't really recommend. You can go ahead and turn on notifications for this. Subscribers can post whoever you sent, but also you can delete the shared album. So that's another really cool thing that you have the ability of doing. So, And that's pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.